I'm Karen Rogers. And I'm Adam Joseph. Tonight on FYI Philly. A new culinary partnership creates magic in Chestnut Hill. Today, you know, we'll show you kind of how we come up with something together. I track the latest trends in rugged menswear. Melissa McGee reports on a musical sound from way south of the border. And we find the newest and best veggie, vegan, and raw food eateries, plus a preview of the Philly Wine Festival. We're going to be showcasing some new French releases. It's an FYI for you, starting now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to FYI Philly. Spring is finally sprung. Love it. Gorgeous out here. The yeah. trees are in bloom, so we came here to historic Tyler Arboretum in Delaware County. And next weekend is going to be the perfect time to get your garden groove on. In fact, why don't you share some of your spring gardens with us on Facebook? Great idea, yeah. Adam. We'd love to see your green thumbs and the best gardens. We'll get one of our six ABC mugs. Hard to get these things, too. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll also tell you all about what they have here in store a little bit later, but first. What happens when two talented young chefs hang out together? Luckily for us, it was a fusion of food and friendship that resulted in a new and very fancy restaurant. They're two of the hottest young chefs in town. Chip Roman has won countless accolades for Blackfish, his BYOB in Conshohocken. And Jason Kachikonski just left as executive chef of the four-star La Croix restaurant at the Rittenhouse Hotel. Now they're cooking shoulder to shoulder in the tiny kitchen of Micah, their 30-seat fine dining spot in Chestnut Hill. Uh, a lot of the food's like progressive American. We try to take, you know, a combination of Chip and my styles and kind of marry them together. Two diver, two halibut, two duck. Now when I go out, I like to try everything. And this is my kind of place. Yeah, so this allows me to do that. You know, we're doing, uh, you know, essentially our con or the concept is, you know, prefix and taste. Menu. In other words, make sure you have a couple of hours to sit back and enjoy. Everyone asks us how we come up with a menu because, you know, I'm a lot more classic. He's a little more, you know, progressive. Uh -huh. um, so today, you know, we'll show you kind of how we come up with something together. Well, um, let's cook you know, a little something no plan as we here, chat. So we'll there's no sick. plan. It's no surprise that their focus is seasonal, fresh, and local. But they're taking it to a whole new level. Today's impromptu collaboration, rainbow trout, ramp, peas, and carrots. Jason actually yesterday, uh, you know, these are ramps which are in season now. And, you know, the Wissahickon Creek is about a mile from here. Right. So yesterday before work, we kind of walked and, you know, collected some ramps. And that's also where Chip day, found the rainbow kind of trout. Well, I take my kids to school on the way back to Blackfish in the morning. I, I always fish for about two hours, <laughs> one hour. We get the chance to walk out in the dining room and say, hey, look, this was caught, Just caught an this. hour ago, or this was caught like earlier this morning. Chip's little son even gets into the action. If my son catches a trout, you know, we'll take a video of it. And then before we serve the guests the trout, we show them the, we video. Show them the video. So they can actually watch the fish that they ate be caught. Here it comes. Here it comes. There he is. Oh. So this is rainbow trout. Well, by yours truly. Nice. With my son. The trout is pan fried, fresh peas and carrots are lightly sauteed, and the ramp goes right on the grill so it'll get a little charred. Now it's time to plate up. Why don't we each make our own plate? You'll kind of see maybe the difference. Ah, a little contest going on, huh? I'll give you a little piece of advice. Okay. You want the food to be on the plate. <laughs> makes it a little easier to eat in the dining room when it's on they the plate. They just wanted me to plate it so they can mock me. You are hired. Are you mocking me again? Which one would you want to pay for? <laughs> it not only looked beautiful, well, chips did anyway, but it tasted as fresh as springtime. Delicious. Thank Always you. Always it pretty much. Those guys are so much fun. And Jason says his chef gig at Micah is actually temporary. He'll eventually partner up again with Chip at a new Center City restaurant. They hope to find a location and open up this year. Sounds good, and we'll be there, I'm <laughs> sure.